Brother and lads, welcome back to the Kosi Arsenal podcast. My name is Kosi. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is the latest Arsenal news and transfer news as well. Arsenal have agreed a four year deal with Mikel Moreno. Contract until 2028. Player salary could be around £150,000 per week. Arsenal are in talks with Real Sociedad to progress onto an agreement between the two clubs. Now, he's seen as a key target for Mikel Arteta, and um, Edu wants to sign him before we end preseason. Probably we want to get him before we end the Lyon game and the Leverkusen game. We might see him play against maybe Lyon, maybe play against Leverkusen as well. So Arsenal are working on that deal. We're going to be diving into that one. Victor Jokores wants to join Arsenal this summer and we also talk about Edin Ketia's deal that's getting closer and closer. But Leroy Sané is another story that is cropping up. Arsenal are still waiting on the contract talks between Sané and Bayern. Bayern Munich obviously um, are not looking at Sané as a priority as they think they can still sign desired duo from Rene. So one player coming in at Bayern could actually give Arsenal the opportunity to sign Leroy Sané, but the price is being quoted as 55 million euros as Sky Sports German. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, let me know your thoughts on Leroy Sané's 55 million euro price at 28 years of age, 55 million. Yes, I know attacking players are expensive, but personally, I am not truly really convinced on that one. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's start off with a big story. Arsenal have agreed a deal for uh, with Mikel Moreno, a four-year deal that will see him sign a contract until 2028. This is, has been confirmed by Team News and Ticks, who says the deal is now closer than ever. He also says that uh, the player is a key target for Mikel Arteta, and this is not changing. There are other players appreciated by Mikel, but this one, Mikel Moreno is the player he wants and is the one that he actually uh, is pressing to get. Now, of course, Arsenal are in talks with, with Real Sociedad since yesterday, confirmed by Nicolo Shira, confirmed by a few uh, journalists as well. Talks are ongoing between the two clubs. However, talks are not expected to be easy as Real Sociedad feel and they want to keep the player this summer. Now, for me, everything is going on, uh, going on according to plan. I never expected Mikel Moreno to sign this week, but I expected us to make some ground. I expected us to make some, uh, you know, developments onto uh, the player side, agree personal terms, uh, offer a contract, you know, offer our terms and conditions, and then we see whether we can actually be compatible with the player. I think the progress we have done this week is okay um, in terms of at least getting him to understand that we are interested very well, getting him to, um, you know, agree to our proposal and getting him to choose Arsenal over all the other projects. At the moment, um, it's just between Arsenal and, and Real Sociedad. Actually, I've read somewhere where, uh, you know, it has been written that Arsenal look at this as a very easy deal and the confidence comes from the fact that they, are, they have the green light from the player, but they also have that confidence that the player is not going to accept any other deal. He wants to come back to the Premier League, he wants to play for Arsenal, and he's enticed by the Arsenal project. So at the moment, Arsenal leading the race, but it looks like there is no other team in the race. Now, the only team that I would fear right now uh, would be Barcelona. Barca... Are failing to get Mikel, uh, are failing to get Danny Olmo at the moment, and they're also failing to get um, Williams. And we're going to talk about Williams just in a second. But um, if they don't get Olmo and they don't get Williams, they are going to focus their attention onto Mikel Moreno. So I pray that Barcelona can get Williams. I pray that they can get Mikel, uh, Danny Olmo, and I pray that by the time they fail to get those deals. Arsenal have already got Mikel Moreno. That is the only fear I have. With Atletico Madrid, like it was reported by Fabrizio, um, Atletico feel the player is giving more priority to Arsenal rather than any other club. So he's um, literally listening to Arsenal first and then other clubs later. It's about Arsenal failing, which I don't think we're going to fail because, like I said, the club is very confident that this is an easy deal we are confident to complete. So the price will be agreed upon probably this week as it comes to an end, probably next week early. I don't expect the deal to go beyond next week. Like, what will we, what will we be doing? If we associate at 130 million, give them 25, uh, th that's a good golden mean, and then we are off the negotiation, negotiation chart. Now, Nico Williams is a player that has been, uh, has been waited for by Arsenal. And the scenario or incident has been, Arsenal have been looking at the scenario in this way. Barcelona failed to get Nico Williams. We grab him. We get him. However, Nico Williams is deciding to stay 
at Atletico, uh, at, uh, Atletico Bilbao. That is now being confirmed at the moment. Baka are still pushing in terms of personal terms um, and also agreeing with the player. But it looks like Baka don't have the money. Now, my problem with this deal has always been Barcelona. And I said that these deals are very difficult to do where a player is sold onto a move to another club for example the way calafiori was sold onto the arsenal move the way michael moreno is sold onto the arsenal move it is very difficult for another club to come out and do this deal you know in, in most instances the play that the player either stays at the club or they end up at that club that they want to join. So with Nico Williams, Arsenal always had a chance. And the chance was Barcelona's finances at the moment are clearly very poor. But were we really going to be the second priority? Were we even the second priority? Because we've been told now that he's choosing to stay at, at uh, Bilbao in order for him to play Champions League football with his boyhood club. Like, that is pure nonsense in my ears. You cannot tell me that he's choosing Champions League football with Atletico Bilbao over Champions League football with Barcelona or Champions League football with Arsenal. I don't think so. Uh, now, listen, the club really means a lot to him and the, he attaches a lot of value to the club. I understand that. But in my opinion, I don't think he's staying there to... Um, play Champions League football with uh, Bilbao. He's staying there because he knows Baka cannot afford him and probably they have told him we can afford you next summer. Can you give us one more year? We, we work on our finances. We get some players out. We do some sales. Um, and then can you wait? And the player has decided to wait for FC Barcelona. So Arsenal thought that they would get him by Barcelona failing to get the deal done. Uh, it looks like Baka have failed, but then Arsenal have also failed as well. So we have to move on. We have to look at other targets. And talking about other targets, sports, uh, Sky Sports German and also Sky Sports generally, also in the UK, they are still reporting that Arsenal are still heavily interested in signing Leroy Zane from uh, Bayern Munich. Of course, Zane is um, one of the players that Mikelata likes very well, understands very well, and has a good working relationship with him. Arsenal are still there. They have not given up on to uh, the signing, despite the fact that co talks are ongoing between Leroy Sane and Bayern to renew his contract. Um, for the Leroy Sane, Arsenal being there, it's okay with me. It's okay. It's a very realistic deal, by the way. Um, it is very far away from the Nico Williams deal. It's very far away from the Rafinha deal and Lisandro Martinez deals where Arsenal were played to increase the price and eventually the players went where they wanted to go. I think with Leroy Sane, yes, he wants to stay at Bayern. That is his priority. Bayern would love to keep him if they don't get their targets. It's understandable. But it's a very realistic deal in that Arsenal can, you know, eventually get him. Arsenal can even sign him on the deadline day of the transfer window. So le let's break this deal down, right? First and foremost, Bayern are struggling to get Desire Due. And this summer, they're saying, if we get Desire Due and we get Michael Olise, they already have one, one of them, we are going to move on some players. And Leroy Sane is one of the players that Bayern would love to move on. And they have set their asking price at 55 million euros. We're going to talk about the asking price as well. So for, so for me, if the deal depends on Bayern getting desired away, that already shows you that Leroy Sane is for sale. He's up, he's up for grabs. Maybe at the moment, they're still saying, mm, we don't get desired away, we keep Leroy Sane. There is a possibility that they can get him. PSG have made a couple of bids. Bayern have made a couple of bids as well. Rene are still saying, it's not enough. We, we can see two giants fighting over this kid, fighting over this young boy. Can you give us more money? So if Bayern just become angry and they table 60 or 70 million euros for desired Due, how do you think they are going to replace all that money? How do you think they are going to balance the books? They have brought in Michael Olise. They have brought in Joao Palinha. They have brought in... Um, that Japanese player that, that, that picked up an injury from Stuttgart. What's his name? Just forgotten. Uh, and then if they bring in Desire Due, um, you have to balance the books. Now, of course, they want to sell Matthias Delit. I think that will happen to Manchester United. But Leroy Sane could be on the verge of leaving if they sign Due as well. So Arsenal are right to be there because we don't know what the market is going to have. We don't know if... I mean, Chiesa could even end up at Bayern. I'm not saying it's happening. I'm saying um, the market is weird. So if Bayern sign another winger or another forward player, 
they might move on signing and that's why arsenal are still waiting but also arsenal still saying um the contract situation is between bayern and sane are not as straightforward as they would be sane would love to stay as, as priority but bayern are saying yeah we want you to stay but um if we get another guy you might have to leave so arsenal are still waiting for that now the money 55 million euros are you kidding me are you kidding me i i don't know what i don't know what to say like you can use all the words you want 55 million euros for a 28 year old i know but he's not messy guys he's not messy right and his contract runs now in 2025 it's a little bit unrealistic it's either Bayern have set this asking price in order to um chase away potential buyers which is highly unlikely because they're buying if they say we don't want to sell, it's as simple as that. They don't want to sell. Uh, why do they? They don't need to say he's a hundred million. You know he's a hundred and fifty, you know, million euros. If you don't give us that, we're not going to sell. They can just say he is not for sale, and all the clubs will listen. And when Bayern are selling, they sell. When they're not selling, they don't sell. So I don't think that uh, fifty-five million euros is to drive away traffic from the player. I think that fifty-five million euros is their honest valuation of Leroy Sane. Let's break it down. Why are they asking for 55 million euros in Leroy Sane? One, he's 28. Two, he has a contract with um, uh, less than 12 months to expire. Three, I don't think he, uh, he's as valuable to them right now uh, the way he was like two years ago. I think they're looking to replace him rather than keep him. So I don't see where the 55 million euros comes in. Excuse me, please, Madame Sa. The 55 million euros, can you just fight? Is this corruption? Is this embezzlement? Are we trying to rip off each other here? This is European football. Um, so I'm going to say 55 million euros is a little bit too much. Maybe 30 million euros, I was also a, 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 a little bit harsh. So I would say 31 million euros. If, um, if they can agree uh, to 31 million euros, that's a very good deal. We can agree to, you know, to take him for 35, 30, 31 million euros. Now, um, with Sane... Obviously, why I want him over some of the other players, I told you he's finished. I'm not changing that. I told you Sane is finished, and I'm not changing my mind on that until he comes back and shows us either at Bayern or Juventus or Arsenal or Anze Makachkara or um, Ali Akhili, wherever he can prove to us that he's still got it. For me right now, I don't believe Sane has still got it. Yes, he did he did embarrass us a little bit. Um, he shook our defense in the Champions League last season. Embarrassing Prats. But um, that happens. Look, he would be a good Trossard-like signing. 28 could cost around 35 million euros if we are serious. Has worked with Mikel Arteta and he's a top-class winger. But... Among all the players we want and among all the uh, players we've been linked with, he is known the most quality. Now, today, of course, we have got um, a big update from Portugal that Victor Jokerez has chosen the Arsenal project if he was to move from Sporting Lisbon over any other projects. Now, this deal depends on the Edin Ketia deal, which is getting closer and closer and closer. Arsenal have now received two bids from Olympic Marseille, and both bids have not been really welcomed in good faith but must have stayed they are saying we are not going away the more you bounce off the deals the more we go back to cook the problem that with Marseille is whatever they are cooking doesn't seem like it's coming to fusion very well it doesn't look like we are going to eat whatever they are cooking um while we are happy it's going to be sad faces onto the dining table so the problem with um uh, the inketia deal at the moment is that Arsenal's expectation is still up there. 25 million, 35 million, around there. Marseille are saying, we can give you 17, we can give you 18. So we're still around there. But Edin Ketia is definitely um, one of the players that have to leave Arsenal and will leave Arsenal. And Jokarez is seen as a player that is going to replace Edin Ketia. There have been talks about an all-round forward. But we don't have any all-round forwards that have been linked with Arsenal, really, guys. We don't have any all-round forwards. Sane? You know, Sane is a little bit all round. Um, Rafinha is a little bit all round, but I think losing Edin Ketia and losing Chido Obi Martin, Arsenal would want to replace that with a number nine. So the Rhys Nelson deal as well, I want to talk about it uh, for a minute. Rhys Nelson's deal to Leicester City is falling off. Now, his deal to West Ham 
is off at the moment as West Ham have agreed a deal to sign Crescencio Somerville from Leeds United. Those bastards. Those bastards. Um, I thought they would give us some money. But uh, they, they, I think Somerville is a much better deal. He's a much better player uh, than Rhys Nelson. So Nelson to Leicester is also off at the moment as Leicester look at the deal as very expensive. And it goes back to what I said. Marseille will not give you 100k a week f um, in terms of salary for your Eddie Nketia and then pay you 35 million for doing a bad deal with Eddie Nketia. Eddie Nketia should be earning like nine, like 70k a week and he should be earning that at a club like Olympic Marseille. Um, you know, because for Olympic Marseille, he's got a lot of room for improvement. Um, if it's not Eddie, who else? Who else? Who else should be earning? Rhys Nelson, 100K? No. Rhys Nelson may be something like 65K a week, right? At a club like Leicester City. So the deal is off uh, f at the moment. Arsenal will have to try to find other solutions for Rhys Nelson. I'm not really in doubt that he will leave. I'm just asking, will he leave in time? Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk tomorrow.